Morris and others from going in and the Coast Guard from delivering uh, uh, diesel fuel for generators and everything so FEMA can run everything and have a bigger disaster and say they need more funds later. I'm going in to get my mother and you better not get in my way. And of course, in the past, no one would act like this because everybody would go in and get their mother. Nowadays, police chiefs and people will sit there while their mother dies to follow orders of a criminal rogue government. Don't ever forget that, folks. That lets you know what we're dealing with in this society. Here's a really big stack of news that we're going to get to uh, after I first cover the new Benghazi developments. Rockefeller Brothers, Pepsi behind gun grab agenda. Now, I already knew this and you already knew this, but this is the kind of articles we need to see. And I appreciate Kurt Nemo doing this. <coughs> if you go look who funds anti-private property movements for, for the general public, if you try to look at who finances higher taxes on the middle class and poor, if you look at who finances victim disarmament, anti-gun movements, if you look at who finances globalism and the end of sovereignty, if you look at who finances derivatives and, and, and the promotion of them, it is always literally Fortune 20 or so. And always at the top is Carnegie Endowment, Rockefeller Brothers, Bill and Melinda Gates, uh, Warren Buffett, uh, of course, the usual suspect, George Soros, and, and uh, Exxon and Mobil and, and Google and the Carnegie Endowment. I think I already mentioned them. And, and here it is, Rockefeller Brothers Foundation. That's their biggest one. Pepsi behind gun grab agenda. And it's got the Aspen Institute, top globalist think tank, with all of them up there pushing the disarmament of the American people. I mean, th th this is foreign multinationals. Pepsi's a big part of Bilderberg. They actually finance it. These are people with armed guards, helicopters, men with machine guns guarding them. They all own guns on record. In fact, in one of the articles, it actually shows the lady who's anti-gun, you know, firing an AK-47. In fact, a lot of times they're obsessed with guns. They just don't want you to have them. That's the instinct of a crook, an instinct of a disgusting control freak. And then confirming what the mayor already said up in upstate New York. Now, over 50 mayors have quit uh, the uh, mayors for enslaving the American people. I mean, mayors against illegal guns. Uh, Bloomberg's uh, organization, his cartel, his syndicate, his uh, racketeering organization, that's what it is, trying to violate my civil rights on record in an organized, deceptive manner. The plan is to ban our guns. Well, now a New York assemblyman in the State House has been in the meetings and said, Safe Act, Democrats wanted to confiscate guns. Yeah. I mean, they've already said that. I mean, Bloomberg's been honest about that before, but they go on the news and go, nobody wants your guns. Everywhere we get control, we take them all, but just let us register them and we'll just shut down any private sales. Just, just like out of the road warrior where Humongous is saying, just give us the gas, we spare your lives. Hey, we got to work with Humongous. He's really nice. I'm going out there to be friends with him. You go out and you get killed and, or, you know, tortured and strapped to the front of a Trans Am. I mean, it, it, it's just, you people need to stop being so naive, okay? These are not well-meaning liberals. These are hardcore wolves run by offshore mega banks that run the major militaries of the world who literally run the health departments and jack your food and water with poison on record. On record in EcoScience and many other publications written by them. And they think you're stupid because this is all public and you don't care. They say you deserve it. I don't deserve it. You understand that, Holdren? I don't deserve it, Soros, and you don't have a right to do it to me, scum. And universal law says I have a right to fight you. And I'm fighting you with the information war because it's the most effective. We're identifying you scurvy rats, you scallywag, traitorous, instinct of evil, degenerate scum. And you will. You know what Johnny Cash says, you can run on for a long time. You can run on for a long time. But sooner or later, God's going to cut you down. You can hide your hand working in the dark against your fellow man. But you know whatever you do in the dark will be brought to light. So that's uh, in that stack of news. <coughs> so I've covered, I've covered two of the small stacks. Um, let's continue attempting here uh, to get into this. Hillary goes mom on NSA, skirt surveillance fight. Iran seeks new Russian reactor in exchange for oil. We've got a huge uh, article here that's really important, exclusive. National clown shortage may be approaching trade organization fears. Uh, that's the New York Daily News. People don't like clowns. So, you know, continuing here, Venezuelan president calls, speaking of clowns, 
allies to uh, rival opposition protest. We got more on Al-Qaeda, huge news on Soros betting against the world economy for a crash. By now, you may know that a Bitcoin is the first decentralized currency that's easily transferred from person to person over the Internet. No bank needed. This means lower fees and accounts can never be frozen, limited, or closed. Plus, a large number of businesses and merchants already accept Bitcoins. And Bitcoins are easily exchanged for dollars, euros, and more. If you're interested in making money in the Bitcoin market right away, and by right away we mean start making money today, please visit us at cloudhashing.com. Cloudhashing.com is one of the fastest growing Bitcoin miners in the world, delivering the highest profits to people just like you. To get started, join us at cloudhashing.com and you will start mining Bitcoins right away and get paid daily. You heard correctly. You will receive payments every single day. And the best part? You do not need a computer or need any experience in mining Bitcoins. It's perfect for everyone. Learn more at cloudhashing.com. Just like it sounds, cloudhashing.com. Start making money today at cloudhashing.com. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. Mypatriotsupply.com slash Alex. What's making Americans sick and fat? It's too many GMO foods and toxins, destroying our digestive systems, causing poor digestion and suppressed immune systems. A suppressed immune system prevents clear thinking and the ability to fight the corporate and big pharma agendas. Detox now with Pro-EM1 from Terragonics. Pro-EM1 liquid probiotic is wheat, dairy, and soy-free, gluten-free, and made with all non-GMO certified organic ingredients. Pro-EM1's power is based in good bacteria, live microbes, and all their metabolites, including vitamins, amino acids and enzymes that support a healthy digestive system, suppress pathogens, and eliminate toxins. Pro-EM1 is the key to your digestive health. Order Pro-EM1 Daily Probiotic Cleanse at Terragonics.com, spelled T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com, or call toll-free 866-369-3678. That's 866-369-3678. Also available through Amazon Prime. Pro-EM1 from Terragonics. Life's getting better. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions, silverlungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs Generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs Generator and Lung Delivery System at silverlungs.com. That's silverlungs.com. From the Berkey guy, now comes Survival K Food Storage. All natural canned meats with no MSG, fillers, or chemicals, and with up to a 15-year shelf life. On sale this week, 12 14.5-ounce cans of ground beef was $123, now just $113. Or 12 28-ounce cans was $164, now only $154. Free shipping within the U.S. Go to GoBerkey.com or call 877-886-3653. Helping thousands prepare since 2005, GoBerkey.com. Resistance to tyrants is obedience to God. It's Alex Jones. You can run on for a long time, run on for a long time, run on for a long time. Sooner or later, gotta cut you down. Sooner or later, gotta cut you down. There's two zero head stories. Go tell that One is up on DrudgeReport.com on the right hand side, the other is up on InfoWars.com. China has sold largest amount ever of U.S. Treasuries in December. That's why gold went up for a while, we now learn. And after I cover some more news, I'm going to get back into this in the next segment. And that dovetails into 
Soros put, or that's betting against for new listeners, hits record as billionaires downside hedge rises by 154% in Q4 to 1.3 bill. Let's just put it to you this way. Uh, the big guys are headed for the exits. And I was talking to a... I'll just say it, a pretty good sized oil company head just a few days ago I ran into. And uh, I recognized him when I was when he's talking to me and I was like, oh, I've seen you on the news. Yeah, and he's like, oh, I'll, I'll watch your show. I'm here in town. And he's like, oh, no, they're getting ready to bring the stock market down at least 20 percent. He said, probably more. This bubble is going to be in deflating. And I don't know if he has all the answers. The point is, is that I can walk down the street and run into people that I recognize from CNBC and they're they're telling me what they really think. But I mean, it, it's all over the news. You see the signs, all these big top people like Faber and Rogers and the list goes on and on, the Von Mises Institute. I mean, I don't know how long they can pump these bubbles up. And quite frankly, I don't want the bubbles to go down because it, it, the bubble's artificial. The globalists get to use it to take over. They get the first use of the money. It, it creates a consolidated economy. But still, we're riding on the back of it. When it implodes, it, it's going to be even worse, and they'll just get more power out of that. So, so that's coming up. But what I wanted to get to right now is an article we posted from... Um, GOP, the daily dose.com. This is from Lou Dobbs, Admiral Obama conspired with America's enemies to kidnap Chris Stevens. And man, I got this from Colonel Schaefer that this was something that was bouncing around the Pentagon. He couldn't confirm it, but he said that was one of the main things. They knew it was, there was a cover up and it was staged. They just didn't know exactly what it was. So you can, in any criminal investigation, you can tell when you're not being told the truth and that something stinks. You just don't know till you get deeper or someone confesses. Or you have prima facie evidence, you know, caught red-handed of exactly what went on. But we know that there was a cover-up and they got a bunch of weapons and it was Al-Qaeda and there was a stand-down order for almost eight hours. So this is a big bombshell. Talk about info bombs. This is it. It's even worse than we previously thought. A retired four-star admiral uh, is reporting that Barack Obama intentionally conspired with America's enemies to stage a bogus attack and the uh, kidnapping of an American ambassador so he could be negotiate the release of the hostages and bolster his mediocre approval ratings just prior to the election. Now, why does that make sense? Most of the security was ordered off. They were driving out, but there was a double cross. Some of them were killed at, at, at highway checkpoints. It was the Al-Qaeda forces put in years before to take over Libya in Benghazi, that western area on the border with, uh, with Egypt. That's one reason Mubarak had to be taken out. He was like, I'm not going to help Al-Qaeda get arms in Egypt and then overthrow uh, Libya. And so they had to remove him. That all came out. So we know that went on. But it fits into this story because, because a lot of people were told to get out. That's come out. So, so, so they wanted to have just kind of a stage firefight, have him give up and uh, hand uh, Stevens over. But the two sheep-dipped Navy SEALs, and by sheep-dipped above Navy SEALs in the CIA, there's many levels above Navy SEALs and Delta Force folks, they came running down and didn't and didn't follow the order to stand down. And so they started shooting them from behind, killing scores of them. Some reports are over 100. And so uh, the Arabs went completely wild. And the rest is uh, history. You know what happened. They were going to use the kidnapping also as a cover to get into the three warehouses with all the missiles and then claim, oh, that's how they got them. So they have plausible deniability. Here's the admiral talking about that. And I, and I really think this theory is probably what happened. Here it is. This is a peculiar response on the part of the CIA. Well, it is at that. And it's also peculiar why we never have tried to secure our consulate. That could have been done immediately. And much information could have been protected possibly even more lives saved. Um, what's questionable is CIA's role and the Director of Naval Intelligence role in the bogus cover-up story of that this was a reaction to a, a spontaneous mob in a reaction to a video which nobody had seen. And again, that sounds like it was recorded on an electric razor, but pretty bombshell info, the full transcript. Uh, is up on Infowars.com. False flag event. Admiral Obama conspired with America's enemies to kidnap Chris Stevens. If somebody's got a better copy of that or the full interview, send it to us. We'll get it exchanged out on this uh, site. 
We're on the march. The M-